when we're manufacturing a fan for gas tight construction. There's four areas we want to talk about. The first is your connection points. So you've got a connection point on this particular fan, a drive cover plate, a housing right here. You have to have adequate gasket. This is mirrored on the other side of the fan, so you have to have adequate gasket between the inlet cover plate and the housing. The access door right here has to be gasketed. Your inlet connection and your outlet connection. So gasket is critical. Second item, your shaft, its entry or exit from the housing. How well are you sealing that area? This is a common leak point. And so on this particular fan, what we have to address it is a purgeable shaft seal right here where you actually run a purge line in right here and you can run Typically, it's nitrogen gas that people run into a purge line like this one, and that keeps nitrogen as the only gas going into your gas stream, and it prevents anything from leaking out because you have a constant pressure against that area. The third thing we want to look at is welds. So we'll run a continuous internal airstream weld to make sure that you don't have any leak points in your welds. The fourth thing to ensure you've done the other three things correctly, run a bubble leak pressure test. So seal up your ports, get some soap in there, run some pressure into it, and if that soap starts bubbling out, you don't have a gas-tight fan. If there's nothing that bubbles out, you're good to go.